Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to SRE DevOps question number 65. Thanks for clicking on my video. I appreciate that. If you like the content I'm creating, please subscribe. That helps my channel. And let's go. So today's question is, how can we use Python code in a GitHub or GitLab work, workflows? So just um, if you want to pause so you can think about the answer yourself, you can do that. But I'm going to go ahead and give you the answer now. So first of all, GitHub and GitLab workflows, they're basically our CI CD tools, right? So essentially they're kind of a script, right? It does certain things. And each one of them has um, different stages you can build. You can have a build stage, you can have a QA stage, you can, you can have um, a deploy stage and whatnot, right? And, they, and then you can have dependencies. That's what a GitHub or a GitLab, or GitLab workflow is. And those are defined in a file. For example, in the case of GitLab, it's, it's GitLab GitLab-ci.yaml file. In those files, you define different stages. Each stage is actually using a container, right? That you specify. So that's where the answer is, answer lies. So let's say that your workflow needs to run some kind of a Python code, right? So how do you run that? So what you do is, uh, and I'll show you an example of it in, in just a second, but the idea is in a given stage where you need a Python code to run, you define an image that you pull. Any, any kind of container image that has Python version that you need in it, right? It's Python 3, whatever. Um, once you define that, then you can have a script uh, within that stage that does certain things. For example, pip install this, pip install that, and then you can actually run any kind of Python code because now the code is actually part of the repo that this workflow is running from. That's the key, right? So your Python code is sitting in in a repo that gets mounted into the container in in real in, in real time when this workflow runs, and then you can use the, that code within the container to do whatever you wanted to do in the first place. So I'll give you an example that I just screenshotted from from the web. There's a th thousand of them. So in this case, in this case, Python 3.6 image is being used. That's getting loaded in in in, a, that, in the container. And then, as you can see in the script part, is doing a bunch of things, you know, echoing whatever, making a directory, running that. In that, you could just run a Python command. This is Python, whatever Python file you have in your in your, in your GitLab uh, GitLab or GitHub repo. So I hope that makes sense. So it's, again, the summary is: you let your uh, GitLab or GitHub runner pull an image that has Python installed in it. And then, then in in the script section of of the build stage, you run the commands that you need to run that uses the code that you have to deploy whatever you're trying to do to deploy using Python. Hope this was useful. And if you did did like it, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.